What do I say? All I have is PewDiePie's Hey everybody stuck in my head right now. Maybe it could be like, hey beautiful dancers! That's the camera's so on, you know that, right? I know. So yeah. whatever. What should I say? Hey there everyone. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited because I I say that every video. I'm like, I'm super excited, but I really am stoked to unbox slash unbag my perfect fit point shoe inserts, which I learned about on Instagram. So let's get started and just hop right into it. Okay, these are directions, those are important. I guess these are like clay thingies. Maybe I'll need those. Okay, there's two of those. Two sets of these thingies. I got these like purple pads. I ordered the large because I'm a street size 10. So that's what it told me to order. Uh, this little plastic bag thingy. Uh, these little, I think these ones are for your toe spacers, but they're little like pieces of fabric. I'm holding them. I'm gonna move it. Alright, we're rearranging. Is the cat talking in the picture? Yep. Okay, whatever. There. Okay, my two little plastic baggies, ba da 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 da. Let's get started. Uh, BT dubs, I already took out my little inserts in my point shoes, which are pre fitted in there. Okay. So I already took those out, so don't need those. Actually, let's put them down here. Okay, how do we do this? La 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 <laughs> All right, let's see here, all right. <laughs> Step one, prepare the spacers. I don't wear spacers. Um, so step number two, open. Okay, we're gonna open the blue and the white. Get out of the way. Left, all right, I guess we're starting with my left. Step two, open. Open one set of jars of the multiple impression material. Decide what volume you want to use. Volume. Uh, for most dancers, we recommend using the full jar. I'm going to use the full jar. For professionals, we recommend a half or two thirds of the jar. I'm doing the full jar. Let's do it. Uh, three, mix. Knead the two balls of turquoise and white putty until the colors blend uniformly. By the way, you guys, these have like markings on them that say left and right. Okay, mix them together. Try to put the putty with your fingertips in the palm of your hands. The heat from your hands will warm the material and accelerate the curing process. Time check, your goal should be to mix for 30 seconds or less. Oh boy. Hey babe. Okay, so now we're gonna mix together. We're gonna mix this stuff together. Let's see what happens. Important note, once the colors are mixed, the material will start to slowly thicken. <laughs> as it cures over the course of about seven to nine minutes. It's important that the putty is still as fluid as possible when applied to your foot and inserted in your shoe so that you can freely flow to the spaces in the shoe and escape as necessary. Insert spacer, apply. Okay, you know what? I'm not doing the spacer, so we're just gonna apply this. I'm scared, I'm scared. It's probably been 30 seconds. I'm just gonna go for it. Okay, we're going for it. We're doing the application process, RN. Apply the material gently all over the tips and tops of the toes, being sure to cover any known pressure areas. Remember the material will flow away from these spots but we'll fill the space around them and thus reduce pressure. Whoa, it's weird. All right, you guys, this is awk. Hey, babe. Babe? Boss? Yeah? Yes, dear? Can you actually make sure that I'm in the frame still? Did you move? No. You're in the frame still, honey. Okay, step five, continue towards the throat of your shoe and the tops of your toes as you insert your foot into the shoe. So don't worry too much about putting a lot of material on the top of your toes or across the bit of tarsals. You don't need to put the material on the underside of your toes. 
I want it all on my big toe, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I can feel it starting to like form. Okay, no wait, I did this backwards. See, that's why you read directions, ladies and gents. For your big toe, put the fabric over the top. Okay, this is the big toe, pop, uh, big toe part. Okay, so now we're gonna put the fabric over to cover the top. The fabric covers each half soft purple felt patch. All right, I put it on. <gasps> put the plastic bag loosely over your foot. Okay, we're going. Doing it loosely and insert it into the shoe. That's my right. This is my left. All right, inserting into the shoe. Da, 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 da. It feels weird. <laughs> feels good. Uh, the material will start squeezing out of the throat of the shoe. This part, as it self adjusts in terms of volume, to fill only the voids in your shoe. It might feel slightly tight at first, but the pressure will decrease as the material flows out. Mine ain't flowing out. Okay, and escapes near the drawstring. Okay, they have a picture of it escaping and mine is not escaping. You should aim to have your shoe in standing on point by two and a tuck. Oh, I gotta stand up. Okay. Alternate between standing flat, rolling through demi point, and standing on point. Rock, walk around for approximately five to seven minutes until the material finishes curing. You should also try to articulate your foot with some tongues. Back my way. Okay, now it says step nine. After the material seems to firm, a quick squeeze of the skip materials help you determine when it's finished curing. It should feel firm like a rubber ball. Repeat steps one through eight for the other foot, leaving the insert you just molded on your foot. Leave it on there. Don't even trip. Guys, it still feels like goo. I'm gonna walk around for a bit. Honestly, this little bit coming out at the top is still gooey too, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say it hasn't firmed up. Okay guys, I just wanted to show you the final product. I'm a little mad on this one. I think I was going too fast on this side because you can see there's like ridges and bumps, but the inside's pretty interesting. Um yeah, that's crazy to think about. That's like, like where I put the pressure and stuff. Cause it's like, I wish I could take a picture, but maybe you could see down there. There's like fabric. Okay, let me show you the other one. Okay, this other one I'm a little bit more happy about because I could see there's a little bit more clay at the bottom, but it's weird. It's just weird. It's a little bit like heavier too. It's like, a, I mean, which I was expecting, but. Okay guys, my honest review of these after, mind you, not doing a class in the yet, is I feel like a lot less pressure, especially in the top of my toe, and it's weird because it still like feels like gushy, like it feels like I'm dancing in, I don't know, like quicksand or something, but it's definitely like less pressure and I can tell like I'm not gonna get calluses in these, but yeah, I will let you guys know after I do a full class then what I truly think, but thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and let me know what you want to do next.